Many fears about the coronavirus tonight and just how you can come down with it. But should one of those fears be the things that are delivered to your door? Team 12's William Pitts looks into that. Say the word China, and the first thing people think about is the coronavirus. And where do most of our products come from? China. So how likely is it that the coronavirus hitched a ride on something that you ordered from China? Cruise ship passengers quarantined for weeks. The disease spreading across the world. Office buildings being fumigated, disinfected. It's easy to see why people would be scared. Which brings us to an email from a viewer named Samantha. She's an eBay shopper and got this email along with a refund. Dear customer, in consideration of your health and safety issues, we cancel your order. Which freaked her out and had her asking, could the coronavirus really survive on that cashmere sweater she wanted? The problem is this is a relatively new virus, so experts don't know all that much. What they can do is go off of previous coronaviruses. The Centers for Disease Control has been tracking the virus and running tests, and they say you're probably not going to get sick from Chinese mail. There's no evidence to support transmission of this novel coronavirus associated with imported goods. And there certainly have not been any cases in the U.S. associated with imported goods. Dr. Kevin Steffen is an infectious disease specialist with E-Infection MD. He says there have been studies done on how long the coronavirus can live on surfaces. At room temperature, uh, on surfaces like metal and plastic and, and tabletops and that kind of thing, door, door handles, that kind of thing, it lasts maybe uh, up to about... Uh, uh, nine days. Now, boxes are not metal. The virus doesn't do as well on things like cardboard, but Stefan says the virus does like cold temperatures like ice packs and humidity. What they're probably worried about is that somebody who has an active case of coronavirus respiratory infection and is sick, and therefore transmitting it, uh, is, is at the same person who's packing the box <laughs> and, uh, you know, putting it in a cold environment with a lot of humidity and then sending it to you in the U.S. Which is, again, pretty unlikely on a plane or a metal shipping container coming from China. So we can verify that you're way more likely to get sick from a person with a coronavirus than from a sweater from China. William Pitts, 12 News.